evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray, I'm ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Tunisia, and they take on Australia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's how Tunisia will line up. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. The three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the match begins. Martin Boyle. He's found a pocket of space. Can he find the net? Pretty simple for the keeper. Saifedin Jaziri. a long distance effort and a highly respectable one Stuart well he surprised everybody including me it's a decent effort you have to say Jamie McLaren now do they mean business on this occasion not showing good vision Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Boyle. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. This could square the game. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Karacic. And continues his run. Making a bit of headway, and blocked for now. Jaziri. 
And there to intervene. Boyle. Rustic. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Meria. Laiduni. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Degenek. Goodwin. Aaron Moy. Has eyes for goal! Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. And he takes it away. Saifedin Jaziri. Oh, good vision. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Boyle. And a tidy challenge. Oh, what an opportunity. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Now the pressure being exerted. And it's gone in! The team's have separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Lovely work to get past his man. The first half here comes to an end. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Determined defending. Who can he pick out? Opportunity! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Aaron Moy, Martin Boyle, Aydin Hrustic, pressing high to win the ball, oh did so well to deny him, and they're going for the short one, and he takes it on, well, tremendous block. And the pass could do damage. Can they slot it home? And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Trent Sainsbury. And Moy with it. Going well. Oh, big opportunity. Another goal. The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Gianni Sassi. An alert piece of defending. McLaren. Oh. 
sloppy in possession from Australia. 20 minutes to go. Aaron Moy. Prustic. Well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. So a personnel change then. Aysa Laiduni. Well, visionary passing. Magnificent defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, good looking run. And firing it to the near post. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Very quick thinking there. Aydin Hrustic. Oh, no stopping him. And making the move to the inside. Moy. And blocked for now. It's a short one. Boyle giving the ball to the opposition that time and just one minute of time added on for stoppages nicely blocked but he's got to get rid of it and the final whistle and they're going to have to come to terms with this a defeat not at all what they were